Good evening and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. My name is Chad Viveros and today we are exploring a home right here in Glen Furness. For those of you who don't know, right by Lonial, that can only be described as Hacienda style. We've got beautiful flagstone walls with creepers running all the way up to it. It does inspire that Victorian era as well. This home is going for 8,450,000 rand. It is seven bedrooms, four bathrooms, and three separate carports with some incredible luxury features. Just above this flight of stairs, you'll find yourself looking at a koi pond. On your right-hand side will be a long deck running the length of four different bedrooms. And then just next to that, a fireplace slash braai with a beautiful countertop for you to sit down and enjoy dinner with friends and family. Let's take a look at that and then let's head inside. And on your right hand side, a beautiful dining room table located outside on the front end of this home. Right above you, chandelier and over here, situated again in some flagstones is that bride that I mentioned. You can sit outside and entertain guests, friends and family. I love that this has been included. And off of those terracotta tiles, we move on to this beautiful wood flooring. So let's talk a bit about this when you step into this home. First thing you notice is the space, the size of the ceilings, the immensity of the room. You can see in this dining room table, 10 seater dining room table fits very, very comfortably. But because of the clever design choices, the house never feels too large, never feels too empty. Right over here, what an enormous behemoth of a central feature. Flagstones again located in here. This is a feature wall, but also your feature fireplace, exposed fireplace with a central flue channeling that smoke out and away from any of your guests. I love that it's been included. You can only imagine sitting here with all your friends and your family eating a hearty meal while that fire's roaring away over there. But if you're an entertainer and you love entertainment, you want a kitchen that is easily accessed from your dining room. And this is just that Caesar tone countertops, bar style countertops as well. You can see the chairs located there. Perfect breakfast nook. You've got your prep sink, which is a staple for any good kitchen. All of this dark wood cupboards running all the length of the kitchen really does look stunning. Microwave over here. You've got space for your double door fridge. And then again, if we're talking about cooking and we're talking about whipping up really nice meals, we've got this Smeg gas top burner right over here, five gas tops, extractor fan, and then really cool tiles making the home feel quirky, making the home feel unique. I love it. But over here, more storage. It is your pantry. So let's talk about this pantry. We've got plenty of cupboard space. We've got space for more fridges. We've got space for double sink. So plenty more washing up room. So coming out of your kitchen, we pass through your dining room area and we come to this set of stackable glass doors leading out to an outside courtyard. I love that they've got these outside courtyards here. Flagstones with the greenery popping up through it. Really cool feature. Space again for an outside dining room table. Beautiful trees, all indigenous. And if we take a jog this way, you'll find that this outside courtyard also comes very well equipped. We've got prep space, a prep sink, and then this pizza oven right over here for you to whip up one of my favorite meals at least, and that is a pizza. But with pizza in hand, what do we do? We're gonna have to head back inside and show you the living areas. And we come right here to the TV room. We've got that fire roaring, remember? We've got all the space to customize this home as you will make it your own TV in front of you. And this is a perfect place, I think, to while away any kind of night, specifically the movie nights. But coming over here, we've got a full-on area that is just decked out to read a book, to enjoy yourself. You've got two slidable glass doors, wood framed, I might add, that open up and look out onto a stunning koi pond. But we've talked about luxury. We've talked about what makes this home so unique and one of its most unique features, or at least one of its most luxurious, are behind these two doors. I love me a home with its very own gym. And this here has a fully decked out gym with all the equipment you could ever wish for. And a cool feature of this gym is the fact that the incorporated windows here that open up, letting in a lot of air, letting in a lot of light, but also give you something to look at and enjoy. Now, this gym also leads downstairs to a fully enclosed guest room. 
Down that flight of stairs, you find yourself in the guest rooms. Now this guest room is serviced by a pajama area slash lounge area with beautiful sliding doors looking out onto all of that indigenous greenery. You've got two bedrooms, both of them plenty spacious but serviced by one bathroom. That bathroom has a toilet as well as walk-in shower and single vanity. Both bathrooms have plenty of space for cupboards as well as large beds. So perfect for those long-stay guests who want some privacy and some autonomy. And coming back from that guest wing, we find ourselves moving up to where the rest of the bedrooms are. So, Glen Furness is a fully enclosed lifestyle estate with 24 hour security, but you do have this additional security locking off the sleeping areas from your living areas. But yeah, we find ourselves in your study. What kind of expensive, exclusive, fancy home doesn't have its own study? Plenty of space. I love the window behind me. I love how large it is letting in all that light. Space here for desks, space here for poofs, space here for beautiful little feline companions that are stretching out and enjoying the sun. Look at this little honey. Now, we've got an inbuilt shelf here that you can use. Again, make these spaces your own. And one of my favorites in this space is this fireplace. Again, feature wall, flagstone, and then that fireplace in that cast iron really does invoke thoughts of cold nights working away with a hot mug of hot chocolate. Your first bedroom is beautifully decked out. You've got so much space, stunning wood floors, that big window letting in all that natural light, but also letting your guests look out and enjoy the greenery that this kind of home has to offer. This bedroom has its very own ensuite bathroom, your single vanity toilet, heated towel rack, and then walk-in shower with blue tiles decked out. Coming out of this bedroom, again, you've got this really cool and authoritative hallway that houses the four bedrooms. You have a very unique bedroom. We're gonna check that out. And what makes this bedroom so unique is it is loft style. So let's talk about the bottom floor first. Plenty of space for a king size bed. You've got built in cupboard space. And this is the first bedroom that we've showcased with those sliding wooden doors leading out onto your outside patio that runs the length of all the bedrooms on this side of the home. Then we come to this wooden staircase. Now this wooden staircase leads all the way upstairs to a loft. Coming out of that bedroom, we find ourselves in front of a bathroom that services the two bedrooms rooms located here. This bathroom has its own freestanding bathtub, chandelier hanging from the ceiling, double vanity and then walk-in shower, toilet there in the corner and that then leads in to the third bedroom up here. Third bedroom is a copy of the first one except this time unfortunately no loft ceiling. Coming out of that last bedroom, we come through double doors into the creme de la creme, the master suite, the room we've all been waiting for and a room that wouldn't be complete without a walk-in closet. So much cupboard space to house all the clothing, all the fancy clothing you're gonna be using. And then here we are within your master suite bathroom, subway tiles decked out among all the walls. You've got your double vanity, beautiful mirror, under counter storage, toilet, obviously really cool lighting. But my favorite features are these two right here. Double showers flipping these two faucets. Can you imagine the rainfall that's gonna greet you? I love also that they've done it wet room style, so no glass stopping you from entering these showers. But if showering isn't your thing and you wanna relax, you wanna run yourself a nice bath, you've got a raised and then sunken jacuzzi bathtub with all the jets you could ever desire, surrounded by these windows looking out onto stunning greenery. I love how this bathroom was done and I really love how quirky the bathroom is with these beautiful mosaic tiles. But coming out of this tile bathroom, we're walking back onto the stunning wood floors of your master suite. And this master suite comes with a couple of really cool features of its own. One, massive, as you can see just how much space we've got here. Raised ceilings, windows at the top there, letting in a lot of natural light. But then we come to this section of the home. One, this feature pillar, which we really like, but two, it's this fireplace buried again into these flagstones. Can you imagine throwing out some couches here, unrolling a rug, putting a TV on the wall there, it's raining, rain's hitting the panes of the windows. You're sitting here comfortable and cozy in a home that really does make you feel so wrapped up in warmth. But out this door right here is that long balcony that leads out to the front of the home. So we're going to take a quick walk 
down this balcony, down the stairs and into a small taste of what the gardens do have. And I promise you those gardens have some killer features. Let's go. And yeah, we are finally on that balcony that we've mentioned oh so often. One, you can see it does cater to four of the bedrooms and two, I love these Balinese inspired chandeliers draping down behind me. We're passing one right now. But as we come up to the koi pond, it really does behoove you to look to the right hand side. So much greenery, all indigenous. It really is a stunning, stunning home that does make you feel at peace throughout the whole bit of it. So we're back to the koi pond, which means we're back to the beginning. We're heading downstairs into the garden. Trust me, you don't want to miss some of these features. And here we are downstairs walking through this small maze of an indigenous garden. We've got greenery on all sides, beautiful indigenous greenery, I might add. But this is without a shadow of a doubt, my favorite part. We've got a stunningly blue tiled jacuzzi and this is a wood fire jacuzzi. So through a system of pipes that you can see right there, it runs up through the wall and around to a fireplace. Now that fireplace heats up the water that's being sucked through this pipe and pumps it back in, heating up this jacuzzi. We've also got two fountains, one over there and one over there. They blend in really nicely with the wall, but those fountains will be pushing some streams of water into this jacuzzi, making you feel nice and relaxed, but also making you feel like you should, like you're living in a luxurious mansion. Then slap a boma over here. You've got some inbuilt seatings. You can sit down, not only enjoy that jacuzzi over there, but just enjoy the fact that you're sitting in one of the most tranquil and peaceful mansions I think that this price point could ever, ever buy. And if you'd like to escape the elements, you can come right over here. I'm trying to make sure I avoid this beautiful chandelier because not only is it all undercover, but it offers an incredible view that we're going to get to in just a moment. You've got another fireplace right over there that does also serve as a braai. Then we've got plug points over here. So if you do like to turn this not only into a prep area, but into a bar area, we've got you covered. This home has got it all. But for those of you who don't know behind me right now, is Crawford College. You can see the amazing view that this home has to offer and just how expansive the grounds are both on my left and on my right. This home is over 9,000 square meters all going for 8,450,000 rand. So if you're asking yourself how you can become the next owner of this home, ask no longer. The agent's name is Craig and the agency's name is Remax Advantage. All of their details will be in not only the video, but also the description of the video. So get in touch with them and book a viewing right this moment. But that does conclude this episode of The Home Shopper Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name's Chad and every single one of you that make these videos possible, I'd like to thank you so very much. They air every Monday to Friday at 8 p.m. And we're going to see you once again when we tour some of the most exclusive homes that South Africa has to offer. So from me right here in the heart of Glen Furness, we'll see you again at The Home Shopper Show. Thank you and goodbye.